The KMT's Yan Kwan Hung has registered for the legislative by-election in Taichung's second constituency. He's only been in the race for one day, but he's already under a storm of allegations concerning his real estate assets. Accompanied by an assistant, legislative candidate Yen Kwan Hun arrives at the Taichung City Election Commission. He kept a low profile as he completed registration amid accusations that he does not meet the election's residency requirement. In 2019, when my son got married, I was already living in Shalu District. The dates Clara Cho brought up, she should do some fact-checking. These false allegations are a great big mixed-up media leak. Yen emphasized that he had not lived outside of Shalu District on the dates in question. Later in the day, he took questions about another recent allegation that he owns a 300 ping luxury property in Longjing District. Actually, the claim refers to my residence in Shalu District, Sanlu Borough. The land area there is 128 pings. We obtained the occupancy permit in 2013. The landowners listed are me and my wife. Yen beat back at the swirl of rumors. He emphasized that at present, he lived in Shalu District on a 128 ping property owned by him and his wife. He said that amid the smear campaign by pundits like Clara Cho, he no longer knew who his election opponent was. Could it be an illusion? It seems as if my opponent is changing all the time. Right now, it looks like my opponent is Clara Cho. He is under the illusion that media pundits are his rivals, but I am the one running against him. I'm being very serious about my local campaigning, and I think I've put forward many policy and referendum topics to discuss with him. DPP candidate Lin Jingyi called on Yen to quit playing victim. With regard to the ruling party deploying its army against me, and with regard to the slander and false rumors about me, I will leave the task of providing clarification to my spokesperson. We will take legal action when necessary to protect our good name. He can't just say things like this when other people scrutinize him, saying that the ruling party is oppressing him and so on. The ruling party does not have the power to phone up media outlets and instruct them to do anything. Lin is currently on the campaign trail, stomping for votes at community events. On Thursday, Yen held a press conference introducing the main visuals of his campaign. He also unveiled his slogan, more action, less trash talk. It was a thinly veiled rebuke to the DPP candidate. When serving the public, there is no room to fear smear campaigns or hard work. My goal is to serve fully and serve well. My hope is that he can focus on major national policies, including those in the four referendums, policies that have an impact on the economy, international trade and the future of our energy supply. Does he think all that is trash talk? Barbs are flying in the campaign for Taichung's second electoral district. Who is talk and who is action? In the end, the voters get to decide.